hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it do and what it does, so you ain't gotta ask what it was. Your man about to fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my guy Showtime SP. Let's get right to it. Shout out to Remy Ma, Chrome 23. I do what I want. A lot of people, myself included, were waiting for the announcement of the card and what battles would be on the card. Obviously, we got Geechee Gotti versus Easy the Block Captain, which was the main event, one of the bigger talk battles of the year. Uh, and this is all, all leagues, and I hear this from a different consensus of people, whether it be RBE, URL, King of the Dot, Chrome, this one specific battle and who could get the battle done was going to be a big, 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 big statement in 2023. Remy Ma got the battle done, and it's happening on Chrome. Uh, it's looking like it's going down September 16th. They say in Philly, but I've been hearing the words that it's Camden, New Jersey. Now. I can give you an indoctrination if you haven't been to this side, if you don't know how it works up here on the East Coast. Camden, New Jersey, and Philly are not the same. Not on any level. Niggas who know, there are going to be some people in the comments that will let you know. Camden is like right, right, right outside of Philly, but it's South Jersey. It's horrible, first of all. I don't even know what made, what, I know Remy, I know you from the Bronx, so you probably try to pick a place that's as bad as the Bronx, but what the fuck, what is in Camden? What I know people that are from Camden that don't go to Camden. Boy, ain't My no daughter's name's way, Camden. Boy. But I'm just boy, saying, no not way. that Camden. But what I, I hate boy, it. No I, way, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like Camden whatsoever. Now, that's just me personally from being up on this side. I know niggas that's from there that won't stop there. Like like it, it's it's horrible in Camden. I guess that might be that might bode well for a battle rap. One that I'm probably gonna be at. But do I like Camden? Absolutely not. Um Rosenberg Raw versus Shayna Ashley, C3 versus First Lady Flames, A Ward versus Charlie Clips, and now you got Geechee Gotti versus um, Easy the Black Captain, obviously. Uh, I'll talk about these battles and I'll give you my personal perspective. Obviously, when I get with SP, we'll go further in depth and we'll break down this, that, and the third, and the fourth, and the fifth about the car. But so far, it's pretty interesting. It's one that I would watch. I do like the fact that uh, C3 and First Lady Flames are battling. Both of them been doing really well. C3 won the tournament on um, Chrome, and then you just had First Lady Flames who had a fire performance versus Caution where she won that. So to see these two get together, it's crazy. They so nice that you would have thought that they battled already, but they didn't. But First Lady Flames is super fire, and Caution is, I mean, C3 is dope too. So that's going to be a war in itself. And these the battles like these were the premise of what Chrome 23 was built off of. You know, the female battles giving ladies looks on high levels, dope cars. And this is in the hood. Did I not mention that Camden is the hood? Did I not say that niggas that live in Camden don't even want to be in Camden? Like, I went to Camden like twice in my life. And one time when I was there, niggas were shooting at each other in broad daylight in the middle of the street. That's what I don't understand. But we're going to, I'm going to try to put this shit together. But I'm, the, the places I could give you that's comparable is like Detroit is comparable, Compton is probably comparable, there's places in Milwaukee that's comparable, uh, Bissonette Street, like, like these places are comparable to here. I'm just trying to put your mind frame in there if you ain't from there. Um, it's just A Ward versus Charlie Clips. Now, while I do like A Ward versus Charlie Clips, I don't love it right now for A Ward. I'm gonna be honest with you, A Ward has probably the biggest battle of his career coming up versus um, A Verb. You know what I mean? And we ain't gonna act like A Verb ain't on the 20. This nigga's somewhere promoting this shit right now. He is somewhere promoting this shit right now. The nigga Verb done been fucking live and in spaces and all this shit for the last 86 days. If you think for one second that Ward is gonna have a battle with Verb and it don't go well, or Ward is in a must win situation now. If you want the energy to swing over to the chrome side and you battling over there and then you got a PIA tour in Philly which I will be at on the 15th you got a lot going on I'm not gonna hold you you already battled war I mean you already battled clips it was a dope one round battle but one round battles do not tell the whole story of the tape now you're battling the Charlie Clips who don't have no battles before you and you got uh verb two weeks before and then you're gonna spin and battle uh clips again now 
Do I feel like Warrior? Yeah, he can. He can win, but he's clearly coming off of a couple of battles that he didn't get. He didn't get the battle versus uh, Big K, and he didn't get the battle versus Frack, and now he's taking a battle versus Verb, which is a very dangerous battle. You lose that battle, that's three in a row, and you're the, the, the co-main event of this card. You could that, you could potentially you could potentially fuck up some of the promotion and shit that goes on with this. Cause I tell you what, there's nothing a league owner, there is nothing a league owner wants more than to promote a battle of somebody who just got smoked. Now, the benefit of the doubt for uh, A Ward is that he's coming off of a dope Chrome performance versus Vixen, where he beat her in New York. So their equity is good. Chrome and A Ward. I heard he did so good, he had one of the performances of the night, things like that. But the thing is, his equity is split because he's dealing with y'all and then he's dealing with Rare Breed Entertainment where somebody like Verb has over-promoted the card. He's promoted the card so well to the point where if he never talks about the card ever again in life, he's still promoted better than anyone on Summer Madness did and better than anyone that's on the Rare Breed card. The whole card. Everyone. He's literally started a 24-hour promotional campaign about a war. When they battle, I'm sure he's probably never going to speak to about him again. He will not do this, but he's laser focused on you. I hope A Ward is laser focused on Verb because seeing you in another co-main event a week and a half, two weeks after Verb, I mean, if you could do it, I believe it. If you could do it, I believe it. But the most interesting battle so far that I've seen on this is Shane Ashley versus Rosenberg Raw. I did like their parts of the trailer. I did like what Rosenberg Raw has said, you know what I'm saying, I do what I want, etc., etc. But Rosenberg, you have a couple of crowded weeks too. You're hosting Max out, then you're on the battle versus Mike P, and then the week after that, you got Shane and Ashley. You got three, three, three big weeks in a row, you know, and then you've been blogging. Your plate is getting kind of full. I'm going to be honest with you. I've known Rosenberg Raw to be kind of doing like one thing at a time. Like he'll battle and then you really won't see him for a couple months. Then he'll battle again and he'll pop out like that. But now you got hosting with some of them, some of them niggas. <laughs> you got hosting with some of them guys, myself and Showtime SP. So that's a battle right there. But you'll do fine in that. That's just talking shit and being good on camera. So you're good with that. But then you turn around, you battle Mike P, and then a week after that, you battle Shane Ashley, who does not have anyone before you. Now, like, I mean, you committed and flipping it, the money's good, keep getting it, I'm not knocking you. Get your bag, I tell y'all all the time. You know, I'm scared money don't make no money. If you can't make money on the earth this big, you worthless kid, you don't even deserve to live. So get your money. But it's gross. Do not get your ass chopped up by Shayna Ashley in Camden. They keep saying Philly to give easy to home court advantage, but it ain't in Philly. It's in Camden. Um, but I like that battle too. Uh, Shayna Ashley's dumb nice. Her last battle, she was battling against Tori No, who just went up there round, 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 round. I'm glad she's not on the card. Remy, I'm glad. I'm glad, Remy. I'm glad you did not force this motherfucker back on the card. I am glad you didn't. Cause whatever you could was paying her, you could have paid me. I will. I battle SP. You could pay me whatever you was gonna pay her to, to for me. I do not want her. If I see her on a goddamn card again, I am calling a strike. I don't want to see her ever again on no card. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Absolutely not. So I'm not mad at that. Uh, do I think she's gonna announce some more battles? Maybe another battle or two. I mean, this is a four battle card. I wouldn't be mad if it was four battles. Trust me, I wouldn't. The night will be over fast as hell. I'm getting there two, be out there by 6.30, 7.30. Trust me, I'm with that. <whistles> Quick day, so I'm cool with it. Easy vs. Geechee's already gonna sell the tickets and sell the pay-per-view anyway. Even though it's Camden and I'm not a fan, niggas are gonna be there, people will be there. Camp <laughs> Listen, motherfuckers will be in Camden, New Jersey. Even if it's for one night only. I don't know if these niggas got a free venue out there. See, that's what probably happened. Niggas probably was like, yo, if you bring the event here, you can have my event for free. You can have my, my venue for free. Because trust me, the niggas that live there don't want to be there. So if you throw an event in downtown Detroit, a nigga might throw you the venue for free just to get y'all there. We'll make our money back off the liquor, off the fucking meals and the parking passes and shit. So that's how they probably try to look at it. Um, I do like... I've, I've, I've mentioned this before. I like when leagues are in competition, friendly competition, unfriendly competition. I really don't care. Uh, but I, I do like when leagues, because it makes better content for all the consumers. We get better battles 
when leagues have better cards. When it's one league trying to control everything and nobody else could do this, that, and third, you're going to get what's on the menu. But when you got this league putting out this, then you got King of the Dot, they coming back with Blackout. Then Chrome 23 got, I do what I want. Then, you know what I'm saying? All of these shits, it, 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 works, be it works better for the ecosystem. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, you know, I know y'all was in school. Y'all learned about the fucking ecosystem, the water with the air and everything else puts in to make the better environment. Y'all niggas know what I'm talking about. But I do think uh, it works better when it's more than one league that's doing good. Um, Easy versus Geechee. Uh, I did watch Summer Madness yesterday. It seemed like every single person that took a shot at Easy or tried to use him in the bar got booed. I don't know what he got going on with the algorithm, algorithm in and all this other shit. But whenever somebody has taken a shot or, or tried to say anything about him in the battle, that shit falls on deaf ears. Niggas be like, oh, pfft, boo, bluebirds came out for this. Time he started, uh, it's time he started dissing easy yesterday. I don't know, the nigga got some kind of power or something. Uh, Geechee Gotti's never been afraid of a battle. He shows up to people's states. He was just in Philly battling niggas in the street like a month or so ago on, um, Battle Academy. So I know he has no fear in Philly or Camden. Like I said, they're right next to each other. Um, so he, he's, he, he should be good there. Uh, we'll see, we'll break it down even further when the battles actually happen. But so far, September 16th in Camden, New Jersey, Chrome 23 presents I Do What I Want. Love the card's name, love the trailer, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm always a sucker for trailers. Like, if it was a good trailer, uh, I'm definitely going to watch Remy in that trip. Remy in that trip, in that trailer, in that trailer. Ooh, Lord, Jesus, send the flood. Mm. All right now, shout out to the Bronx. Did you see the ch shout out to the Bronx? Let's get it right. I can fight too. I'm just giving her a compliment. I don't want no problem with none of y'all niggas. I get busy on my own. So shout out to her. I love the trailer. It was a good look and she was looking good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to the Bronx. Shout out to everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or passing. I truly appreciate it once again. Uh, Remy Chrome 23, I do what I want, man. In a major way, in a major way, they're coming back. And that's a couple weeks from now. Cause now, you know, we had a lull from like July to like September. It was like no real big events. They had Battle of the Bay, but it was what it was. But now is when the summer, the, the end of the summer battles is about to really kick off. Summer Madness happened yesterday. There was a couple battles on that was cool. It was no VOD though, I don't understand. I had to, I paid for an event, but then had to watch the shit back on bootleg cause I'm not waiting two days for a VOD. That is ball dot leagues. If y'all say y'all gonna do a VOD, y'all gotta have that shit up by by whatever the reason is. It got to be up the same night. It can't be tomorrow, three days from now. A VOD is called video on demand, not video on delay. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but why am I paying for an event? Then I'm watching it back on the bootleg. I could have just not. You know what? I'm out of here. Take care, gang, gang, gang. I don't bang. Remy, Camden, Camden. Yeah, look, y'all niggas can find nowhere. I'm telling you, they gave them niggas that venue for free, and them niggas said we'll give you motherfucking, we'll let y'all take the parking money or some shit. Because, like I said, I don't know nobody that wants to go there. I don't want to fucking go there. I will, but <laughs> we gonna get right back, and that city ain't like that. I'm gone. Gang.